Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jay's Yagi, where I share my experience, journey, and... Did you guess it? Story in audio. So, Yagi means story in Korean. So, that's why this channel is called Jay's Yagi. And here, I'm today... Supposed to talk about cable lifters. <laughs> but... I took like a deep breath and a 30 minute meditation before I started this video because cable lifter is a touchy subject, right? But I'm here to tell you my story because I think it might be interesting. Now, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I am terrified right now making this video. In fact, I called my friends and said, should I do this video? Because I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some mad hate. And I don't know why cable lifters make people angry, but you know what? I find my story quite interesting, at least with cable lifters, very interesting because I had a 180 experience, right? So I went from believing that cable lifters are absolutely voodoo, makes no difference, eh, marketing, just no, I don't want it, to actually believing in cable lifters and starting to use it myself. Now, I'm not talking about cable lifters that cost thousands of dollars. I still don't think that's right for cable lifters. So I'll tell you what I use uh, towards the end of this video, but I wanna talk to you guys about some of the cable lifters that I came across in my journey and when and where it made a difference and where and when it didn't make a difference. So if that's interesting to you, stick around. But again, if, if you don't wanna hear any of this, then you're free to leave. I'm not gonna be offended. Just please don't get mad in the comment section or say cable lifters are snake oil because you're not adding anything to the table. We all know that cable lifters are not scientifically proven uh, or I just said scientifically not proven. Anyways, let's get to the story. So uh, going back to where I used to work at the high-end retail store, we used to sell half a million dollar systems, really expensive you know, speakers, hundreds and thousands of dollars and you know amplifiers statement pieces and really expensive cables really expensive cables now we never came across i never came across cable lifters because in our demo room our expensive demo room we never used cable lifters despite using really expensive cables so i never came across or was exposed to cable lifters until my boss told me to go help because i'm strong lift I was asked to help lift some stuff for a stereophile reviewer. Now, I'm not gonna name him because I think that's kind of disrespectful. I don't have his permission. I have never asked him. So I'm gonna just share with, you know, my journey here. So anyways, stereophile reviewer, and I went to his system. He had beautiful turntable setup, you know, as expected of a stereophile reviewer. He had a wonderful setup. So I was just mesmerized. You can just imagine my eyes twinkling. And then I saw something on the ground that was lifting his cables, these wooden blocks. So I asked him, what are those? And he said, those are cable lifters. And so I asked him naturally, what do they do? And, they, and he said, well, they lift cables. And for me, it makes a difference. I said, what differences do you hear? And he responded, I hear better focused imaging, wider sound stage, deeper sound stage, and darker background, and I overall, I find it more smooth. That's what he told me. Now, being a young audiophile, I was really intrigued. I went home immediately and started searching up cable lifters. Now, the cable lifters that he was using when I searched it up was on the thousands of dollars spectrum. So I said, well, I'm not going to do that. I would rather spend that money on something else. And I... I I still believe that today, and that's why I'm gonna tell you what I use as cable lifters for dirt cheap towards the end of this video that works phenomenally well and perhaps the best I've ever encountered, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So he was using these cable lifters. I was searching up a bunch of cable lifters and they were all too expensive for me at the time to just buy for the heck of it or just to try it out. In fact, I thought to myself, well, spending that money on speakers or other things in my system would bring me more improvements to, towards what I want. And so I never really pursued cable lifters myself. Now, fast forward, we eventually got cable lifters samples from this company that I will not name, again, out of respect. But I heard no difference with these cable lifters that we were trying inside the store. Now, these cable lifters were bought 
by a customer. Now, he bought an entire system, so we went there for installation. And when we did an AEB with the cable lifters, and he was interested because he didn't know exactly if he wanted them or not, he ended up buying it because he heard a difference. And I heard a difference as well. And I was so confused because these were the same cable lifters that I heard no difference back in the store. So I was just confused. Now, fast forward, uh, one of my friends that was crazy about cables and cable lifters, and he already had his system set up, right? So, you know, he, he never really intended to spend more money on speakers or amplifiers because he had already what he wanted. His, his system was magnificent. So all he was now playing around with was cables and cable lifters. And one day he calls me and he tells me, hey, you know, you got to come and hear this. And I thought he was going to show me a new amplifier or a new speaker for once. But he was like, you got to listen to these cable lifters. And I said, God damn it. Uh, not you too. Because in my mind at the time, like I was all about measurements back then, like coming from a science, scientific background. That was all about measurements, right? So I bought based on measurements. So to me back then, cables were ridiculous, but you had to be extra crazy to believe in cable lifters. Because not only do you have to believe in cables, you have to believe in lifting them and that all this makes a difference. So I was very skeptical, more than skeptical. I had a barrier in my brain that was blocking it, saying, nope, makes no difference, crazy voodoo. I didn't have an open mind. Let's just keep it that, right? I didn't have an open mind. I didn't go with an open mind. But when I actually sat down, he made me close my eyes. And I said, well, I know what you're gonna switch, man. And he said, well, no, you don't because I may switch something else. I said, well, pff, okay. So I closed my eyes and then he switched. And I said, well, I hear a difference. And he said, well, I switched an amplifier. So he was trying to trick me, right? So he was switching amplifiers at times and sometimes he was switching cables. And each time I heard a difference because what he, whatever he was switching made a difference. Whether it was cables or something like that, this guy knew what he was doing. Let me just keep it at that. If someone wants to hear a difference in cables, this guy is the guy to go to because whatever he's doing, uh, you know, the cables he's using, testing out in his system, and he has very sensitive tenor speakers. Maybe that's why, I don't know, but the things he does was pretty obvious to me. But anyways, point being, he switches something, and this time it was cable lifters. And I said, well, this is the biggest difference I've heard so far. What did you do? Did you switch the speakers or an amplifier? And he told, he told me, nope, this was the cable lifters. And my eyes just went. And that was actually like the, the expression that I had. I was in a disbelief. So without close, closing my eyes, because I had to see it for myself now, we went back and forth between the cable lifter. And this cable lifter, by the way, was basically what inspired me to make my own cable lifters today. Like my the design is based off that. So you may come, you may see my cable lifters, and you may go like, "Oh, that's X brand," but I'm not even sure if the brand exists anymore. But anyways, it was like from Poland or something, and it was made out of this exotic wood and you know uh, and stuff like that. But the idea was simple. It was to isolate the cables and have them lift up a particular distance, yada yada da. So, fast forward, I just forgot about all this. I never, even with that experience, you would think I would try to find something that I can use, but I never ended up using it. Now, if you watch my in acoustic video, that's where the turning point was for me. Now, in that video, I said that I did a blind A-B test with the cables and I couldn't hear much of a difference. Um, I couldn't pass the blind A-B test. Now, when I didn't have my eyes closed and I knew the cables were switching, then I heard a difference. But again, blind A-B test told me that it doesn't really, you know, I, I couldn't tell a difference accurately. But when I used these in acoustic cable lifters with in acoustic cables, I was nine out of 10 or something like that uh, from you know what I recall in that video, you can go and watch it again. But um, that that's when I was like, you know what? Why not just use it, right? And, and acoustic sent me these, right? So I still find these 
pretty expensive. So I'm, I, I'm saying that if you don't want to do DIY, because that's what I'm going to suggest next, then these are viable choices from a reputable brand that does things properly and they're very well thought out designs. So you can use them and you can purchase them if you want to. But this is not an, an endorsement or a sponsorship by an acoustic whatsoever. But I do like their cable lifters quite a bit. And I heard a difference. And that's what kind of inspired me going forward to kind of look for something that I want to use because I like wood. Now, these are not wood, right? These, no, are more industrial looking. So I wanted something that looks more proper. And I also wanted to be inspired by the design that I heard from my friends, cable lifters. So I started looking for stuff. So as ridiculous as this sound, I was walking down HomeSense. I'm not sure if that's in United States as well, but they this is where they sell like home decors and stuff like that. And they they had these uh, pot holders, okay? And I looked at them and it was much bigger than this. And I looked at them, I said, well, if I can just shrink that thing, turn it over, cable lifters, bam. So I started looking for a miniature cable, well, not cable lifter, pot holders. And I found them on AliExpress for dirt cheap. So I got them off AliExpress. I'll link it in the description below for you to check. So I got the cheapest one possible, the, the, the right dimensions that I want. And I got these in and I started using them. The problem was I did hear a difference and I really liked the differences that I heard. In fact, I really liked what I heard. Let me just put it that way, okay? Let's love it. But the problem was that these things would move around. And that made me think, well, one of the objective what, with, with cable lifter is to isolate and make sure that there is no uh, microphonics, right? So w mechanical energy that transfer into cables from vibrations from your speakers and what have you. So I just thought, you know, why don't I just get a pad of sorbethane and I'll link to this as well. Sorbethane is a proven, you know, isolation pad used under your amplifier feet and turntables and stuff like that. It's actually pretty good, pretty good stuff. So I got a sheet of those and cut it to size to put it on these four sides where it would make contact with the floor. And now this makes it, it won't, it won't move around. So it, not only that, right? But it isolates it further. And because I had so much left over and you can get these in very variety of sizes, these pads, uh, but I got the biggest one. And because I had left over, I decided to put it where the cables would go. So this way the cables would not move around as much. Plus it isolates it. And I had the perfect cable lifter that I always dreamed of for dirt cheap. Well, at least for me, right? It was enough of a difference for me to actually go and start trying this. So I tried this cable lifter in uh, my room with a variety of different cables. And I found that with some cables, I hear a difference. But with my blue jean cables or some other cables, I hear not much of a difference or no difference at all. So it also depends on cables. So again, this is very difficult to kind of put all together because it doesn't really make much sense, you know? So I kind of find that with cables that have less shielding, I should say, may, those kind of make a more of a difference. But so far, the biggest difference I heard with cable lifters were the GR Research cables and in acoustic cables, as well as Kimber cables. So those type of cables made the biggest difference for me with my cable lifters. Now, also that it doesn't end there. So from my experience and my, you know, fiddling around in my acoustically treated room, which is this room right here, cable lifters make the biggest difference when everything is set up properly, meaning speakers out into the room, acoustic treatment. That's when I hear the biggest difference. Now, Putting this into like my bedroom or some room that is not treated, I heard no difference. With any cable, I didn't hear any difference. So I'm here to tell you, if you 
have a room that is not dedicated to audio, if you have a room that is like a bedroom with no acoustic treatment or whatnot, then cable lifters may not do you any good. Also, depending on your flooring, it may not do you any good. So I also found that when it's like hard floors, not always, but when it's hard floors, it makes more of a difference, at least for me. When it's a carpeted floor, then it, it doesn't make as much of a difference or no difference uh, from my experience. So again, these are all subjective and kind of compiling my experiences together. But when I look, at, look back at the experiences that I've had with cable lifters from clients' homes in the store and whatnot, I find that you know our stores, our store had carpet. So maybe that's why I didn't hear any difference. But when we went to the clients' homes, they had hard floors. And so, and, and the biggest difference I heard was when it was acoustically treated rooms. So again, none of this is scientific. None of this is a hard recommendation, but that's why I came up with this solution for people that may be interested in trying it out. Cause it, you know, I want to say it can't hurt to try out, but it can, can it, right? Especially if it costs thousands of dollars. So this is the cheapest and most effective way that I came up with for people to try out. And I'm not trying to sell these. In fact, I'm not selling these. You have to make it yourself. And it's very easy to make it yourself. So I'm just trying to make that barrier to entry much easier for people if they want to try it. Because back then, I would have loved for someone to make a video like this and say, hey, you can try it for next to no money spent. Just pot lifters with sorbethane. And for me back then, that would have at least maybe perhaps pushed me to, you know what, why not try it, right? So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because you know, it's not hard, right? Because you know, I hate it when you can't try it. You know, people say, just try it. Well, it only costs thousands of dollars for this cable that I'm just gonna try for the heck of it because this guy says he hears a difference, right? But if, if it's just a few dollars, you know, maybe a hundred dollars or less, then maybe it's much easier to swallow, much easier pill to swallow and say, hey, you know what? Why don't I just give it a try, right? Because it doesn't cost thousands of dollars. You get the point. So that's kind of why I want to share this experience and I will continue to use these cable lifters in my room because it makes a difference for me. And whether it be in my head or actually makes a difference, it doesn't matter to me because as long as I believe it, you know, I'm getting more endorphins, I'm getting more, you know, enjoyment. So that's all that matters at the end of the day for me. So that's why I'm gonna continue using these and it looks nice for me as well. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please click, click that like button because I would very much appreciate it and it doesn't cost you anything. And I will see you guys on the next one. Until next time.